Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to attempt to make brownie bottom cheesecake. So, roll film. So, what we first need to do is preheat our oven to 350. After you preheated the oven, we're going to start mixing our brownie mix. So, I got a chewy fudge brownie mix from the store. Any brownie mix will work. And you're going to need your bowl. So. Take the brownie mix out of the package and put it in your bowl. <laughs> scissors. Thank <laughs> you. You like my handy scissors? I can do it. If you're wondering why Phoenix is not here, she didn't really want to do this video with me, so I decided just to do it. So after you put your brownie mix in, in the um, in the bowl, you are now going to be putting one large egg. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, after you put it one egg in, you put one fourth a cup of water. After that, you're gonna need one fourth a cup of vegetable oil. After that, <laughs> we're gonna use our spoon. The other spoons were dirty, so we had to use this one. After it's all mixed, it should look something like this. After you're done mixing up your stuff, you need to put it on the bottom of your pan. We don't have a circle pan or whatever they're called, so we're going to use a square pan. It is a 9 inch pan. Oh yeah, and you need to grease it first. There's a spatula. There's <laughs> a spatula, yes. Put it out of the bowl. You need to make it go all around the pan because you don't want just a big clump of big brownie. After we do that, we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is the cream. So, we're gonna need another bowl for this. What we're first gonna do for the cream cheese is add the cream cheese. So, you're gonna need Two, 250 grams of cream cheese. Mmm, <laughs> it's still cold. But it's easy to do. How do you open this? So, you're going to just plop it in to your bowl and plop the other one into the bowl plop the both in and then recycle or throw your stuff in the garbage so after you have that in you are going to have to add your eggs then we're going to add it to our mixture. 
Okay. So after you added the two eggs and the two cream cheeses, we are now going to be adding the sugar. And you're just going to pour it in there. Okay. After you add half a cup of sugar, we're now going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. So, just pour it all in there. added all your ingredients, you are now going to be putting it on this mixer, or your mixer I mean. And you are going to be doing, you have to beat it together until it's smooth. So after, it should look something like this. Ours is a little lumpy because we used two different brands of cream cheese. So the one might have not been as good. So I would suggest using Philadelphia cream cheese because it's probably the best. So after this, we are going to be adding it to our brown Let's Scrape this off. Scrape this off. You can. Okay, so now we're going to pour it in here. So, when you get all of the cream cheese in the bowl, do the same thing you did with the brownie mix. Push it out so it gets to the end of the brownie. So, now that you've finished putting your stuff in the bowl, we are now going to bring it to the oven. And set the timer for 30 minutes. So after you bake it for 30 minutes, you have to put it back in the oven and bake it for another 15 minutes and turn the temperature down to 325 Fahrenheit. Voila! And don't, don't forget to let it cool for a little bit so it's not super hot. And serve with syrup. We didn't have chocolate syrup, so we used caramel syrup.